guys, welcome back to another episode of Hermit Pack with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Hey guys, on my way working over here, found myself some watermelons among some sheep, and oh yeah, look at this guys. Um, a little bit of lag. Can I get the melons? Can I get the melons, please? Sometime today. <laughs> All right. Don't know what happened to the other one. I think we just kind of lost it, maybe. All right. Maybe it's just some teasers. <laughs> but I found myself a jungle, guys. I found another one of these, uh, thing, thingamabobbers. And it looks like it got a cocoa bean tree growing on top of it. Wanted to bring you guys in here, show you this little bit before I head back to base. I just figured I'd go out exploring. I wanted to see what was in my area. Let's go ahead, bring you guys up the map. So here's this thing over here. Our base is pretty much over here. What I wanted to do is get out there and find some stuff and things. And whoa, um, it looks like we got a slime island over this way. We're going to have to go take a look at that. Um, I'm running out of food, so I got some cooking up, and <laughs> I ran across an idea where I could take these and turn them into sunflower seeds, but I could also salt them for a meal. I got some pork chops here. I can cook those things up, of course, but I got a bunch of mutton, and for some reason, the sheep seem to, they just keep dropping down in there and spawning in there and just dropping so i decided eh, why not just <laughs> just get some free food while i was here so <laughs> yeah it was kind of worth it i'm gonna work my way back to base guys and we're gonna see about building a smeltery today we got some gravel we got some sand we got some clay let's go ahead let's head back to base and let's do that so i'll meet you guys back over there yeah jungle see you guys back at base all right everybody and we're back at base and i got this book with me and i'll be honest with you guys i'm not a big fan of the new books i'm not a big fan of them not at all um they make very little sense to me i remember the old tinker's construct and i hopefully this is still about the same way as it used to be um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna skip the uh tutorial of the books and i'm gonna teach you guys the way that i know Tinker's Construct, and hopefully it'll be able to teach you guys the same way. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create grout, okay? Now grout is created like, kind of like this. All right, we got sand, and it says we're missing clay balls and all that stuff and things. So what I want to do is let's hit F5, and let's get inside real quick before we get blown up, and let's take a sleep, and there we goes. <laughs> Cow tipper achievement, yeah. All right, let's head over here to this, and let's go ahead and let's create our grout. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. All right, so that just gave us a stack plus 16. Not bad, not bad at all. We just got kicked out of it. So what does this give us whenever we smelt it? All right, I think this gives us one ingot per if it only gives us one ingot per, then we're only going to get like 16 blocks each. Yes. All right. So now that we got this, the, these blocks, we're going to go ahead and hit uses on this. Okay. Now what we're going to need to create is the smelt three controller. We're going to need to create a fluid drain, a casting table, a casting basin, a seared furnace controller. Um... I don't think we need this. This is for the tinker tank. This is different. Um, here's what you need. This is the heart of the smeltery. So this, the only things that you need right now is we need this. So we need a piece of glass. All right. So let's see here. Do we have any more glass? We do have a piece of glass. I'm going to hope that this thing works. And let's go ahead. Let's grab out some of this stuff. Let's go ahead, hit use on that thing one more time. Um, we need to create the brain of the smeltery. That requires eight blocks. We need this other two. We got one and one more. We're going to create that thing first. 
And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... There we go. We got the Brain of the Smeltery. Now, this, the Brain of the Smeltery, I think what I'm going to do is... Hmm. We need to set this thing up. Raise it by three. All right. So, what I'm going to do... We're, we're going to get some blocks. We're going to get some blocks, and we're going to set it down. All right, so let's see here. What kind of blocks do we got? We got alabaster. We got marble. Let's use this alabaster, okay? It seems to work out nicely, and it looks nice. That'll give us four. I don't know. What, what did we just do there? Give me that back. All right. I'm going to need this, and I'm going to need this. So while that does that, let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a three a three by three platform here okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna I want my block pretty much just the brain of the smeltery I want it to I want one thing to sit here and I want one thing to sit here and I want the other one to sit right here so I want my brain of the smeltery I want that thing attached right here pretty much okay this right here I think this is where all the lava goes in at. Let's go ahead. Let's see what else is left. Let's, you know what? Let's just click on this. Let's hit use on this again. Let's see what we got. This is for the smeltery drain. This is the seared furnace controller. I don't think you need that. What we need is this. Let's go ahead. Let's move that. Let's grab this. This right here is where all the fluid goes into it at. So I want to put that right there because that right there is where all the lava will go into. And we need to do an automated way of getting lava into it. Okay. Now the rest of this is all going to be the way this is going to work is. All right. This it's pretty much going to be raised. All right. The whole thing is going to be raised up. I don't want it to have it like this, but we're going to have it like this. So let's go ahead and let's just go add all of this on here and add this we're going to tear out these middle three because we have to add nine more blocks now I'm going to go ahead these are the only two blocks that you actually need we don't need the other stuff, not right now, not at this time. We can go ahead and pull this up. We could set it anywhere else on here that we want to. We can set it right here. We can set it there. We can set these two beside each other, but I'd like to leave room for other stuff and things. Okay, so I'm gonna put it leap right there. Um, what needs to go beneath this is, I'm hoping we don't have to have this entire thing lying down here. I think all it has to do is just touch the other three. I could be wrong on this. Don't quote me on this, but uh, yeah, let me pause. I'm going to get the rest of these blocks up and ready, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, as we're waiting on this, we're going to need something called lava to power this thing. And I found this little thing. I used to use this all the time. It's a fluid tank from Ender IO. And this thing seems to work quite well. I want to go ahead and craft this thing with you guys. And it's relatively cheap. It works. And it is... Let's just go ahead and get it. Because this thing is awesome. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and grab ourselves one more piece of this. And... Maybe a little bit more iron for this because you know what this thing is awesome and I love it because it's it's just nice you know we can stack these things we can go fill these things up it doesn't require a wrench to pick them up you can break them with a wrench or a pickaxe I mean and they're good to go so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna shove this stuff inside of here get this thing all loaded up toff these things up inside of here like so's. We can go ahead and, um, you know what, can I stack that? Yes, I can. Let's shove this inside of here. Let's top it off. Grab this little piece right here, and we're going to go grab some lava. You guys might have seen some lava back in the, uh, 
other place and we need only one two three before this thing is complete however we need that lava and the lava is going to go inside of this tank right here so what i want to do is i want to pull this piece out i want to pull this out and i'm going to take the brain of the smeltery i'm going to shove it right here i'm going to put take my uh this thing which is the seared tank i'm going to place it right about we could put it right there it, it doesn't matter you know we could we could take this thing and we could place it right here and we could put the two uh tanks right here off to the side but just for the sake of where everything is going to go i want to be able to put these things together side by side right here so let's go ahead let's pick this thing up and let's place it right here and how this is going to go one tank is going to go here one tank is going to go here this one's going to feed into that one. The other one's going to feed into this one right here. So while we wait for those things to go smell, I'm going to head out there, guys. And let me show you this on the mini map here real quick. Um, Jay, right here we got a lava pool. I'm going to head out there and I'm going to grab that lava and I will meet up with you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, and here we are. So I'm going to go ahead. I just set these things down, and I'm going to show you guys how these things work. These things can hold 16 buckets of lava. So I could easily clean all this lava up. And I didn't realize I had fire tick on, so I went on ahead and shut that thing off. And it, I didn't realize it was off. So how this stuff works is you fill these things up with lava and you break it we're gonna get ourselves a wee bit of lag as this stuff updates but that's perfectly okay with us 13 buckets okay let's keep going 14 15 and 16 all right let's go ahead let's break this one now if we hold this thing up it's got 16 millibuckets of lava can be used to fill empty and fill fluid containers nice okay now let's go ahead let's do the same thing to this one let's fill it up and i'll meet you guys back at the house all right here we are just arriving here at the house let's take a look at our furnace see how it's doing all right it must have paused but that is perfectly okay we got ourselves plenty of bricks to get us started here all right, so let's go ahead. Let's get this thing set up and we should be good to go, guys. As soon as I place this last one in, now it should, the smeltery should be online. Whoops, no, hold that thought. The smeltery should be online. I don't know what's going on here. What is going on? This whole thing should be online. Are you trying to tell me that I got to have this thing like, no, 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 no. Okay. No, maybe this has to be in the center. All right, let's get the brain of the smeltery. Let's, you know what? Let's just break some of this out, run a test. Last I checked, you didn't need all of these things in here, but. All right, I'm going to pause, do some of this. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I figured out what was wrong. This thing had to be smack dab in the center. I couldn't have it over here on the side where I wanted it to be. All right, so let's just see here. This thing, I need it to, if we go to configure to the IO, what I need it to do is I need this thing to push inside of there, okay? And from over here on this side, I need it to pull. All right, so basically what it's going to do is it's going to pull lava from this side into here it's going to keep this thing full so anything that i put inside of this tank 
it should be able to do its thing. So now I can take this thing and start shoving my ores inside of it, like my gold ore, for example, because that's something we're going to need right off the bat. So let's go right on ahead. Let's shove that inside of there. And you can see it's going to start to do this. Now, because I have... All right, I'm going to go right ahead and jump right on inside of this thing. And we're going to try not to fall inside of it because we need to raise it up by one more level. A lot of this stuff is probably going to fall inside of it. And I did not know that dirt can fall, get smelted. Um, I did not know dirt can get smelted. <laughs> That's going to be a new one. <laughs> um... I didn't know that. All right. I, we're going to see what that happens with that. We really got to see what happens with that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get an iron ingot and we're going to, we're probably going to lose this. Um, we're going to get an ingot cast. We're going to shove this thing inside of here and I'm going to make a hopper. Now this thing is going to feed inside of a chest. Let's get a hopper. And let's see, here. one, two, three, four, five, a chest, there he goes, get this going, bada bing, bada boom, and this like that, all right, let's get ourselves a, uh, I want a good storage unit, you know, something I could actually use, and the best storage unit that I can think of is if we hit storage, all right, these little miniature things right up here, all right, these things are actually pretty useful, and that's what we want to build, all right? Now, this thing, it's pretty relatively easy, so let's grab this stack of wood that we have out of here right now, and we're going to go ahead and do that. It's going to require four chests for starters. We can go ahead and do this, and I want to get myself some sticks. And let's go ahead and let's just do, nope, not that, backspace. And wood casing, move the items. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we can do two of them. Why not? Let's do it. All right, and let's grab ourselves a wee bit more. And let's go ahead and let's see if we can do this. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so... And we got the actually additions manual. Woohoo! You guys know I love that thing. All right. So um, now that I got this thing out of the way, what I want to do is I want to put a uh, barrel right here. This thing right there. Now we're going to hop down below here. Make sure we leave ourselves a way out. And we're going to use this thing to uh, you know, kind of get our way in and out of here. And let's just pop up here. All right. Let's see here. Grab some of these alabaster. Let's go ahead and place those things there. Slap this here. Now, yeah, you're not going to be able to get inside of that thing, but nothing can spawn on top of it. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Let's just go ahead and shove that torchy right there. Um, inside of here, what did that thing make? I am so curious. Liquid dirt, nine ingots. Let's go ahead and shove that in there. Let's go ahead and slap this. And we're going to go ahead and make ourselves an ingot cast. Um, that ain't going to work there. Um, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. Change of plans. I got to move that thing over here. All right, guys. I moved it. It's over here. Let's go ahead and try this again. All right, so we're going to take this. We're going to open this thing up. we got six blocks of gold in there. We're going to go ahead and do this. And that's going to make us an ingot cast. Now, the ingot cast, no ingot went inside of here because the ingot gets destroyed. All right, so what I want to create is a clock now. All right, what this clock would do is automate this thing and that is a redstone clock which is right here four pieces of stone four pieces of redstone so let's go ahead and get that thing going so let's see here we got four three pieces of stone 
we can go ahead and shove maybe a little bit more of this inside of here. There we go. And we'll grab ourselves one piece of coal. Get that cooking up. Might as well do it so we don't not waste in coal. Yes, I know we could use mini coal by doing this. And I'm not I just I'm just not doing that, guys. It, it's just inventory space. I like to use inventory space. All right, so let's grab a little bit of redstone. We're gonna need five pieces. Uh, make ourselves a, a redstone stick. Well, torch. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Do that. Bada bing. Bada boom. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's go ahead. Let's create this. Bada bang. All right. Now this redstone clock is going to automate everything inside of here. What you do with that mud is beyond me. I really do not have a clue because that's a new one. I have never heard of that. So let's go ahead. Let's take this clock and let's place that thing right there. And what that should do is automate the uh, process of everything that we put inside of that thing. So... Now we can pretty much just take all of our ores and just like dump them inside of there. Um, it's just automating everything. So if we look inside of here, we can see we're getting all our gold. Yes, we could use this for crafting other things. I'm so curious about what you do with that liquid dirt. Um, I really am. That's not what I want to be putting inside of there though. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that dirt alone. because We're going to be using that for other stuff and things. Um... Sandstone, not sure if you could put that inside of there. That would be interesting to know if we could do that. Let's see if we can shove that in there. Let's see here. Can we put sandstone inside of this? What happens if we put sandstone? Nothing. Okay, so if it turns white, it means we can't do nothing with it. Um, 19 ingots free, 53 ingots of... Uh, you know what? Switch this out to the brown stuff. I want to see what happens. I want to see what we could use this for. Mud. Building blocks for building big. Okay. I want to see this. Let's hit use on this. We can build <gasps> mud bricks, mud slabs. Oh, this is so cool. So we can build mud bricks and slabs with this stuff. And I think we have a guest outside. Not sure. <laughs> so we can build with mud. Um, I'm curious as to what does that even look like? All right. Let's see what you could use that with. Let's see here. Hit use on that. You can make sla stairs and slabs with it. Okay. Okay. And you can get eight with that. That's not bad. So I see where Hermitcraft got their idea for it from. All right. All right. All right. But I got some bunch of ores. I got a process, guys. I think I'm going to shove my iron through there. Get this thing up and going because what I want to do is I'm hoping by next episode we can start making some tinkers tools. What I want to do is I want to make a hammer. Okay. Next episode, guys. We're going to make a hammer. We're going to make an excavator. So let's try this. Excavator. We want to make a hammer. We want to make an excavator. We're, we're going to start making all of these casts. Okay. We're going to start with all of these. All right. I'm going to make all of these things off camera. Yes, I know I could have done that today. But I wanted to start getting these things taken care of. And it looks pretty cool. I want to see what these build. I want to see what these things look like. Really, I do. I want to see what these things look like. Um, let's shove some iron inside of that thing. Give it a moment. I'm gonna get these ores processing. And what is that? Three blocks. Eh, not bad. We need some more stuff on it though. All right. So let's get outside here and let's see what these things look like. Oh, that is so cool. All right. That should be interesting to build with. All right. 
that should be interesting and it I wonder if you can do these things harden at all huh I'm gonna have to look into that all right guys I'm gonna end this episode be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more episodes like this till next time guys see you on the flip side see you later bye bye